the new 1071 The Boss, classic rock of the 70s, 80s, and more. I'm Michelle Amabile here with Richard Barone. Richard Barone and Ricky Bird are going to be doing an amazing show Thursday night at the St. Asbury Park. It's a Troubadours show, and uh, we have Richard Barone is joining us right here on the phone. Hi, Richard. I heard that you introduced our show. I'm really excited to be coming back to Asbury Park because I love it there, and I've been, of course, playing there pretty much all my life whenever I get a chance. And... Um, it's really fun to be on the road with Ricky Bird for these shows because we, we're really different in what we do, but it comes together in a great way. Um, he plays a, some really amazing guitar with me and does his songs that he's working on for his new album. And we both have a lot of songs from the 60s that we do from different uh, genres because I'm doing songs for my new album, which is uh, Sorrows and Promises, Greenwich Village in the 1960s, that explores the, like, the beginnings of folk rock. And he does a lot of soul and blues from that era, the same era, and it merges together really, really well. Now, Ricky is a Rock and Roll Hall of Famer, having played with Joan Jett. You've worked with Tony Visconti and uh, Al Jardine. I've worked with Tony Visconti. Yeah, That's I right. love working with Tony Visconti. He produced my previous album, Glow. And, uh, and Ricky Bird, yes, was, I knew him. I met him with, when he was with Joan Jett and the Blackhearts. And he plays with everyone. He's been on the road with Bobby Whitlock, now Derek and the Dominoes. Um, he plays with a lot of the really great artists also. So uh, we both are fortunate to work with a lot of our heroes, you know? So you're going to be doing songs that you wish you had recorded. I, I just want to know what songs you wish you had done. <laughs> That's right. It's funny because I thought that was a good line in his bio that, you know, we, we talked about what we were going to do, and he said he wanted to do songs that he wishes that he wished he had written. So that's kind of how he approaches it. We do some really cool Sam Cooke songs. He, you know, he really dives into the um, the soul, a lot of the soul catalog of the '60s himself. And uh, it's fun for me to be able to play along with him and, and to uh, to add my sound with his. And we mix the show up. We trade songs back and forth. So that's kind of how the show goes. Now, Richard, you're in uh, New York. Are you still doing? Te- or, uh, I know that you uh, work with a lot of artists. Are you still teaching? I'm also yeah. I do work with a lot of artists right now. I've been producing. Uh, a young artist from England, he, he's the grandson of Brian Jones of the Rolling Stones. His name is Jules Jones. And we just started making a record, and we might have it out by, uh, by the end of the summer, a single, an EP, actually, three songs. And it'll be coming out soon. And I'm really excited about him. He's, a, a, again, another new artist. He's just turned 20 years old. I work with a lot of younger artists as well as the legendary classic ones. I mean, I, 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 I'm, I'm fortunate to have a balance of, of new and a legacy artist that I work with. I work with Donovan quite a lot, you know, and uh, and that kind of comes into my my own music. That that mixture of old and new is really what my sound is about. Terrific! It seems like uh, like uh, a long way from uh, Maxwell's and the Bongos. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, my heart was always in. Even with the Bongos, we were always really aware of our influences. We were very respectful of the groups that we love, like the Beatles or T Rex or David Bowie, and we tried to give you know do those songs in our shows too because we wanted to show that we appreciated them. So it's really, to me, it's, a, it's like carrying on that tradition that the bongos, that we did with the bongos as well, you know? Well, Thursday night, the Saint, Ricky Bird, Richard Barone, both of you guys on stage. Uh, it's going to be a great show. Karen Mansfield will be performing, and Bruce Tunkel, I believe, correct? I'm really, yeah, you know what, the, when, I, when we travel with these shows, uh, I really love inviting the friends that, you know, that we've met along the way uh, around the country to join, to join in and, and on, these, on these songs. So I immediately thought of Karen Mansfield and Bruce Asunko, who I always work with. I love them. And um, called them up, and I said, would you join me for this show? So I was thrilled that they, that they said yes, and they're going to be coming up on stage with us. Now, uh, what else do you have coming up this summer? I mean, summer's coming up. you got to play. I do. We'll be traveling a lot. You know, I've got Abby in Boston. The thing about Sorrows and Promises, sometimes I also work with different people. I perform sometimes with my producer, Steve Adabo, at some shows, and also with Elvis Perkins, who's a great artist on his own in, in his own right. He's the... Uh, He's the son of Anthony Perkins, the actor, and he has some really beautiful contemporary folk sounds, and uh, I work with him. So I'll be all over the country with various people throughout the summer. It's really, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a fun time for me because, I, you know, I always love producing, so I'm in the studio half the time and on the road half the, the other half of the time. So I love both things. <laughs> well, Richard, it's always a pleasure to talk to you. Can't wait to see you in Asbury Park Thursday night. I'm really looking forward to being there. And again, Asbury Park has got to be one of my favorite cities. I've said it every time I've come through, and I mean it. I love going there. I love spending my summers in Ocean Grove and uh, visiting uh, Asbury Park. So I'm excited to be there on Thursday night, especially with Ricky Bird and with Karen Mansfield and Bruce Tunkel. What a show that's going to be. It's going to be fantastic. Doors open at 7, correct? I think uh, doors open before 7, I think 6.45. 
and then we go on at 8, but there's an opener, and it's going to be a whole night of fun. So people can get there early if they like. Well, thank you, Richard. Thank you for joining us on the new 107.1 The Boss. It's always a pleasure to speak to you. My pleasure. Thank you so much for having me on the show. Oh, you're welcome. See you Thursday night. Oh, absolutely. Thursday night.